If you ask me, the most practical and cost-effective solution to the threat posed by drone swarms on the battlefield is already in service, and it isn't a laser. It's Northrop Grumman's MACE system and a good old-fashioned Bushmaster 30mm autocannon. Now, lasers, or directed energy weapons, are often touted as the answer to the threat posed by drones. But until there are some significant breakthroughs in power generation, or at least power storage, the value these directed energy weapons can really provide on the battlefield will remain limited for some time. And today, even the most powerful directed energy weapons in service still require a few seconds of sustained fire to bring down a single airborne drone, which obviously would not cut it when you're dealing with a saturation attack or a high volume of drones in a swarm. And that is where MACE steps in, which is short for Mobile Acquisition Queuing and Effector System. This modular system is designed to be carried in the 8-foot truck beds of any standard pickup truck or tactical vehicle, and it includes a deployable tower that houses a powerful 3D radar, electro-optical infrared sensors, and a global positioning system to orient that M230L Bushmaster cannon directly at targets in the air. Now, the M230LF Bushmaster, or the Army equivalent, which is known as the XM914, is a 30mm chain-driven cannon that's effectively the same weapon you can find in the Apache helicopter gunship. Now, this weapon fires large 30mm rounds at around 200 rounds per minute, or roughly three rounds per second, each of which can be guided by that MACE 3D radar and electro-optical infrared targeting system. Now, once that MACE system identifies an inbound drone, it relays that target data via an encrypted data link to the Bushmaster cannon to engage. But that Bushmaster isn't armed with standard 30mm rounds. It's armed instead with new XM-1211 high-explosive proximity rounds. In other words, these 30 millimeter rounds first close with that drone target, and then when the RF sensor housed in the nose of the round identifies its close proximity to that target, it detonates a high explosive charge meant to bring that drone down in much the same way a radar or infrared guided air-to-air -air missile might. Now, this allows these individual rounds to bring down drones ranging from 20 to 60 pounds or more. And the Bushmaster cannon can accurately engage these targets from north of 2,000 meters away. Now, that's roughly 6,500 feet or about 1.2 miles. Now, that MACE antenna can be deployed in under two minutes, and because of the rate of fire in that Bushmaster 30mm cannon, you could engage a maximum of, theoretically, three targets per second as long as they were close to one another. But you could also tie multiple vehicles with multiple weapons into that same MACE architecture, allowing you to engage multiple targets per second continuously. Now, these systems are already in service for the U.S. Army, and in fact, some have even already made their way to Ukraine. But as development continues on this effort, it's only going to get more capable, and eventually, we will find ourselves in a position where we have effectively guided kinetic solutions to drone swarms like this that don't rely on generators that can produce megawatts of electricity, and instead can just be loaded up with fairly inexpensive ammunition. Now, eventually, directed energy weapons may well step in for that Bushmaster cannon, but they'll still benefit from the target acquisition and guidance data provided by that MACE tower, making this system all but future-proof. So when we eventually find a way to produce 500 kilowatts or one megawatt of electrical power production in your standard Humvee, well, the MACE system can still come in handy. But until then, I think the Bushmaster is a pretty good solution.